What's up guys, I'm Drew. Welcome back to another episode of DIY Dudes. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to install this over the range microwave. Now, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I've done two of these in my life and they've both gone terribly. <laughs> so hopefully the third time's the charm. I'm gonna show you guys the things I learned along the way installing the first two. Hopefully I can apply those to this one and it will go just perfectly. So stay tuned and we'll find out. All right guys, so all of these over the range microwaves install pretty similarly. There's a main support rail that is screwed to the wall along the studs. You gotta install this at a very specific height and the microwave just kind of rocks into place and most of the weight is taken by these clips. Just kind of slides into to grooves inside the body of the microwave. Rests nicely on top of this as long as this is installed level and perfectly in the right location. Um, in addition to that, you're gonna need to drill holes into your upper cabinet these have to be installed at exactly the right location. So these bolts screw from the top of the cabinet down into the microwave. There's a female end that receives the bolt and if these aren't in exactly the right place, then it's not gonna sit properly in the microwave. You're not gonna be able to get the microwave tight to the top of the cabinet. You might even damage the, the receiving end of the bolt, uh, which leads to all sorts of problems with trying to properly install the microwave. Basically, just take your time, make sure you get these in the right location. Um, in addition to that, all of these microwaves will come with a template. You hold this up to the wall, secure it in place, and then that, that'll give you the location of the rail, um, that'll give you the location of the exhaust vent, if, that's, if you're gonna vent it out that way. Uh, similarly, there's a template for the underside of the upper cabinet. This is where uh, you line up your bolt holes, I was talking about, you line up the location of your power plug, and you line up the location of the roof vent. Take your time with these, try and get them installed 100% correct. If these are 100% correct, then you're likely not going to have problems. All of the problems I've had in, in installing these microwaves have stemmed from this hole, D for the bolt holes, being slightly off. And it's very difficult to find the, the female end of that bolt hole while you're holding the microwave, everything's up in the air. It's just a difficult task. If, if they're in 100% the right location, hopefully we won't have that problem this time. All right guys, so the first thing I wanna do before I put up the template is I just wanna verify the location of my studs. So the way that I installed these cabinets, they mount on a rail. So I know that there should be a stud somewhere there and then additionally another one in this corner here. And then there's probably one right in the middle of those two. Should be at 16 inches, but we'll see. Yeah, that's pretty close. Um, if you have a stud finder, you can use a stud finder to find the location of the studs. Um, I unfortunately don't. So before I put up the template and start trying to mess around with the microwave, I'm gonna drill a couple screws into where I think the studs are just to verify that's where they are. And I'm not, I'm not too concerned about drilling holes in this wall because the microwave is gonna cover it up. Yeah, perfect. So I'm using my impact gun. I know that when it, uh, I can just feel it when there's a stud there. So right about where I thought there was a stud, there's a stud, so that's perfect. Yeah, there is one there. It's at a little bit of an angle. So when I'm screwing in the rail in that location, I'll probably have to angle my screw to, to hit that stud there. So I just mark that stud location on the, side of the, on the other side of the cabinet just to make sure I don't lose it. And then that uh, center line there is the center line of this cabinet. So it's 30 inches from this edge to this edge right here. Um, I'm making sure not to consider the finish panel on the edge. If I did account for that in the way I measure this, my microwave would, went, would end up uh, a quarter of an inch off of this, this unfinished edge here, which is not good. So just make sure you don't, uh, don't consider additional area in the area that you're installing the, the microwave when you're considering your center line. Just use my laser level to throw up a line uh, just to trace the center line straight up and down. 
I'm just using that center line to make sure that the template is centered. Okay, that actually worked out pretty well. I used my stapler to tack up a couple staples. Okay, so what I figured out is I'm basically gonna have to drill a screw at an extreme angle in both corners to catch the stud on the outside. And then I can hit that stud there in the middle pretty evenly. And then additionally, uh, this, this brand includes toggle bolts. Um, yours may or may not. And it says to install a toggle bolt centered between each span of the stud. So I marked those there. So the idea is those are gonna line up nicely with the pre-drilled holes in this, in this mounting bracket. Okay, I'm just gonna pre-drill the holes for the toggle bolts. So with the toggle bolts, I just marked out which holes the bolt's actually going through because you almost need to pre-assemble this before it's up on the wall. Okay, so I'm using screws long enough um, to drill at an angle into the stud beside it. Like I have a stud that I'm gonna hit nicely in the center of this hole here. But these ones, you're probably gonna run into a similar situation. I need to screw it at a steep angle like that in order to catch the stud that's somewhere over here. So now I'm gonna install the top template. I'm, I'm gonna try and tape it to this upper cabinet. All right guys, that actually worked out great with the laser level. First two times I did this, I didn't have a laser level. I think this is gonna be a big help when installing your uh, your overhead range. Just to make sure you get this template right on the center. Because the, the thing is, the I have the laser lined up on the, the point of center here and here, and it casts it on the paper as I install it. Okay guys, moment of truth. I think I have the template lined up the way I wanted it. Um, I got it taped securely in place. Um, one thing I noticed is it seemed to be easiest to kind of start in this inside corner and work my way out from there and then make sure I'm level in the center. So I've got everything I think where I want it. I'm going to start drilling holes. And then for the, uh, the vent opening, I'm going to drill a hole in each corner and then I'll cut that out afterwards with my jigsaw. All right, now to cut out the vent opening, I'm going to use a jigsaw. I'm going to get up top, cut it from uh, the top down, just kind of using the four holes I have here uh, that were drilled as part of the template as my guide for the jigsaw. Okay, the back cut is actually a little bit tight to the backboard of the cabinets, uh, so I'm going to use a multi-tool that will allow me to get nice and close. I got a wood blade on it. It's a little bit of a slower cut, but it'll fit in that area. Guys, that's actually pretty good. I think once I tighten these bolts down, I just may have done it. Looks great. Nice even space at the top. That's good. Now all I have to do is install the venting uh, out through the wall and then hook up a bit of an electrical, but that's it. Okay guys, so I think I got this all wrapped up. I got all my vent work installed. Now vents to the exterior of the house. I got my power all hooked up, 20 amp circuit. I think that I'm ready to take this thing on its maiden voyage. My coffee from this morning is now ice cold. Perfect, I think that's a wrap. This thing's done, it looks great. Please guys remember to like, subscribe, and share for more great upcoming content.